Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of RJCSE Biology Revision. Today we're finishing off uh, syllabus topic 14 and we're looking at tropic responses. So this is just a list of things that we're looking at today, so feel free to um, have a quick read and we'll begin the video. So there's a couple of definitions that you really need to know. Tropism is a plant growth response in which the uh, direction of response is determined by the direction of stimulus. So there's two main stimuli that we'll be looking at today. One is gravity and two is light. So gravitropism is a plant growth response to gravity. Pretty simple. And phototropism is plant growth response to light. Right, so these two main things will, will be what we will be looking at today. But before we actually go into the detail of any of this, you really need to know and understand the concept of auxins. So auxins are plant growth substances that are produced by the shoot and root tips of growing plants. Um, so one main thing that you really need to understand then is that you know when, we, when it comes to light, auxins will always move away from the sun or light. Right, so they'll always accumulate in the shaded area of the plant, and in terms of gravity, auxins will always accumulate towards gravity, and that's sort of self-explanatory because gravity pulls things, right? So, another really important concept is that auxin accumulation in a shoot will actually promote cell growth by increasing water intake, but auxin accumulation in a root will slow down cell, cell growth uh, by reducing water intake. So the auxin will actually have a different impact on the plant depending on where it is. In a shoot it will raise cell, cell growth and in a root it will slow down cell growth. So make sure you get this slide really, you know, make sure you're really comfortable w uh, with what's, um, what's going on here because it's going to be really helpful for understanding the concepts later on. So let's take a look at phototropism. So ignore the positive side of things first. Just think about phototropism. So let's take a look at what happens uh, to a shoot, right? So when a shoot is exposed to the light, uh, we briefly touched on this before, the auxins will move away from the light. So therefore, more auxins will be present on the shaded side, and this promotes increased water intake in the cells inside that shaded side of the plant and make it grow faster. So therefore there's an imbalance of auxins uh, causing an imbalance in growth. So therefore the shaded side will actually grow faster and cause the stem to bend towards the light. And the growth of a shoot towards the sun is called positive phototropism. And I'll talk about why it's called positive in a second. But let's just take a look at the diagram again. Just going through, we've got the sun on the right hand side here. The auxins will accumulate on the shaded side away from the sun. And the left hand side here will grow faster than the right hand side and therefore the stem will bend towards the sun. If you have a bit of trouble sort of um, you know, picturing this whole thing, I've laid it out in a very simple diagram here where we've got the blue side and the red side. They're equal length at the moment, but if you can imagine the blue side growing faster than the red side, they're still attached and therefore it will bend overall this way and the sun is up here uh, correlating to the diagram. So um, I, I said I was going to explain why we call this positive phototropism. So you know when you think about phot phototropism, it's basically how how the you know um, the plant grows in response to light. So um, if the plant grows towards the light, we call it positive. And if it grows away from the light, we call it negative. And this is exactly the same for gravitropism, and we'll talk about that later. But basically, if, if anything uh, grows towards the stimuli, in this case light, uh, that's positive. So let's take a look at negative phototropism, which is basically when the plant grows away from the light. And again, here... Uh, it's not going to be the shoot we're going to be looking at, it's going to be the root because for, for a shoot, of course, it's beneficial for the stem to grow towards the sun, but for a root, it's a lot more beneficial to grow away from the sun uh, because it wants to dig down deeper into the soil. So in the absence of gravity, because of course gravity can actually affect the uh, growth too, um, if a root is exposed to the sun, 
uh, the the exposed side will have less auxins because the auxins will move towards the shaded side, right? So the auxins therefore will cause reduced water intake because, as I said before, if you're if it's a root, then uh, the auxins will inhibit cell growth, which is completely opposite to what happens in a shoot. But either way. Um, so it will reduce water intake on the shaded side and thus slow down cell growth. So again, the unequal growth tends to bend the root away from the light. And because it's bending the, uh, the plant away from the light, it's negative phototropism. So this is just a diagram of the, the, uh, the phototropism in action. Uh, action sorry. And uh, this is the uh, simplified diagram. We've got the sun here, so therefore the auxins will accumulate on the red bar. But because this is a root, uh, the growth of the red bar will be inhibited, and thus the whole you know, structure or the root will bend away from the sun, like so. So, let's take a look at gravitropism then. Well, in the absence of light, if a root was placed horizontally, uh, the auxins will accumulate on the lower side due to gravity and so the cells on the lower side will thus grow more slowly and therefore bend the root downwards and towards gravity so this time the plant is moving towards the simulator to gravity so therefore this is positive gravitropism and this sort of, sort of all makes sense because it's it's uh, sort of self-explanatory that um, it's the root growing towards gravity or deeper down the soil is beneficial for it and therefore it happens this way. But in terms of negative geotropism, this is when the plant grows away from gravity and of course uh, this would be more beneficial for a shoot. So that in, in the absence of light, if a shoot was to be placed horizontally, uh, the auxins will accumulate on the lower side, again due to gravity, but it has a different impact again. Uh, the cells on the lower side will grow faster because this is in a shoot and thus the the shoot will bend upwards against gravity so so this is a typo this um this is meant to be shoot not root uh so that um so the shoot essentially grows up against gravity and this is uh therefore negative geotropism and this is just basically a simple simplified diagram as uh, as before So, um, let's just take a quick look at something called synthetic plant hormone uh, 2,4-D. Basically, uh, this synthetic plant hormone is very similar to auxins. It, by spraying these on plants, it can cause uncontrolled growth and therefore lead to death. And this is used in weed killers and it can be very selective because some plant species are a lot more sensitive to synthetic plant hormones than others, so you can kill off you know certain things but leave other plants that you want to keep as well uh, but I don't think this is very important uh, it's just a lot more important to uh, get grasp the concepts of auxins and phototropism and gravitropism uh, by the way I'd like to also mention that I wrote uh, I've written geotropism here but geotropism and gravitropism are basically the same thing and they can be used interchangeably okay so I know it's quite a lot to take in, but um, to summarize everything, uh, the auxins will increase growth in a shoot, but decrease growth in a root. Regarding tropism, gravitropism uh, is plant growth dependent on gravity, and phototropism is plant growth dependent or in response to light. So, if the plant grows towards the stimuli, whether it's gravity or light, that is positive. So positive phototropism is when the shoot grows towards the sun, and positive gravitropism is when the root grows uh, towards gravity. If the plant grows away from the stimuli, that is um, negative, and negative phototropism is when root grows away from the sun, and negative gravitropism is when shoot, uh, shoots grow away from gravity. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, you know, it's, it's, I'm sure there's a lot to take in, but ultimately if you just grasp the core concepts, uh, it's not too difficult to understand. Uh, but you know, if there's anything else, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer. But um, otherwise, uh, that's the end of this video, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one.